Oh, hello there. I didn't hear you come in. You know, I was just about to Photoshop a few things, and perhaps you would like to join me. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right, so the first thing I'm noticing on the suit is we got some weird color casts going on here. We got some greens right there, and we got some blues over here. So the first thing we're gonna do is just get rid of all those and just make the suit one flat tone. I'm gonna make a new layer, put it on color, and just go over all of that with some flat white. And I need to make this a little darker down here. It's too light. So just going to do a little burning down here. Okay. And I just had an idea. If we want to be like really detailed, like needlessly detailed, I can put a little bit of a highlight under her chin from this guy right here. And maybe even some of that red. So I'm gonna blur that out a little bit, or a lot, actually. That's good. And I'm going to erase it and take it back, take it down just a little bit. Okay, so next let's uh, finish up her hair, because her hair is not done. And actually before I do that, I'm going to get rid of this earring. I don't want that earring there, so... Just gonna make a new layer. And I'm just gonna paint that out. Take some color samples and get rid of that. And now we're gonna add some hair. Let's see. Uh, let's get, yeah, let's get some of this right, right there. So first I'm just going to roughly clip that out on the edge with the pen tool. And then I'm just going to make a rough selection around about like that. I'm going to go into my channels. Um, hmm. Is it green or the red? Let's and let's go with green. So we're going to duplicate that green. Go into our levels. Just going to amp up that contrast. I'm just going to burn on the edges. Then I'm going to use dodge on our highlights. Alright, so let's make that selection. Let's fill this layer. 
and put a color overlay on that back layer on lighten just to make sure we don't have any dark parts so I'm gonna merge all of those bring them in here flip that horizontally and gonna just line up this hair to that hair I need to scale that down it's too much and let's warp that so it's a little closer to this let's see and uh, maybe let's darken this up a little bit and lighten up this edge And now let's just fade the top hair into the back hair. Let's warp that a little bit more. Alright, so next I need to bring in some hair to finish off the back. So let's go back to our pictures. Let's use this one. And I'm just going to roughly select about that. Duplicate our blue channel. And let's select the inverse of that. Because doing this will select the white, and we don't want the white, we want the black. Copy that. Flip that. So let's, let's lighten that hair up a bit. And let's fade that into there. Okay, so next let's add in her gloves. I think this one will be useful. And this one too might work. You can't really tell what's gonna work until you actually get it on there, but, but uh, I think this might work well. And paste those in. Let's see here. And that looks like it might work right there. Let's um let's bring in this one, see how it looks. Paste that in. The hands kind of make it hard to judge because they're, they look kind of weird, but we won't need those. So let's do a color overlay on that and see if we can't make it blue. And let's just lighten up this edge to match the highlight. And we're gonna do a color overlay on this one as well. Lighten up the highlights. A 
I'm just gonna mask out the hands because they're they're getting distracting because they're so they're so off. And I'm gonna liquefy the bottom of this glove just so it uh, matches up with her arm a little better. Should be good. And I'm just gonna add some shadows on her suit. So I'm gonna make a new layer. Glove, shadows. Clip that to our suit, put it on multiply. Gonna take a sample of the dark blue. And I'm gonna paint in some shadows. And let's go over to this glove and do the same. Um, but first, the bottom edge of this glove kind of got uh, folded in, I think. See, see, this glove has like a seam at the bottom, and this one doesn't. I think it's, I think it's kind of folded in on the picture. So, I'm gonna take the bottom of this glove, and where's that? Let's copy that, and I'm just gonna bring that over here. So I need to flip that so the highlights match up. And I need to put that blue color overlay on it again. So I'm just gonna warp this so it matches the bottom of this glove. And just erase that so it fades in. And that needs to be darkened up just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna paint in that shadow. So again, I'm gonna take a sample of the dark blue. Just want a low opacity so I can just slowly build that shadow up. I'm just gonna erase out where the highlight is there and there. And maybe just fade it out a little bit more. Okay, so our character in the costume is more or less done. I'm probably gonna go back at some point and do a little bit of tweaking here and there, but I think we're at a good place now that we can move on to the background. So I'm gonna drag in my uh, city image. There we go, and I, I have no idea what city this is. If you recognize it, let me know. Let's zoom out. And let's make one group and just call that Power Girl. So she's all just in one group. Let's turn that off for now and paste in our city. And we want it at a bit of an angle like that. And I'm gonna warp it a little bit to mimic just the curvature of the Earth. Just gonna exaggerate that a little bit. And let's turn her layer, her layer back on. Just trying to determine which part of this image is gonna look best with our layout. Let's go with that for now. So, I have some cloud images, and let's use these. They're at a good angle. And I'm just gonna take a big 
rectangle selection. And let's add a layer mask to that and just kind of fade that together. And let's turn up the brightness on that image. see maybe do a color overlay on the city of like a very very light blue see how that looks yeah I think that's good copy that and put it on our cloud layer And maybe just brighten it up a little bit more. So she's gonna be roughly there. Make maybe warp our clouds a little bit. Just to match more to the uh, warping. of the city. So now I'm just gonna make a new layer and I gotta paint in some atmosphere. So I'm gonna take a very, very, very light blue. And I'm just gonna lightly paint in some atmosphere. Let's take these clouds here, do a very, very rough selection right about there. Copy that, paste those in, let's turn off Power Girl again for now. Let's lighten those up a little bit. Let's see, maybe put those on the screen. And let's put a mask on that and fade that out. And let's turn her group back on. And I see I have a little bit of a dark edge on her suit here, so I'm just gonna paint that out right now. So we're just gonna go to our suit layer and to that lighten layer. I'm gonna take a sample from the light part and just paint in to get rid of that dark edge. Maybe down here too, it's a little too dark. So there too, maybe there. Anywhere else? Yeah, here too. Get rid of that dark edge. Maybe a little bit over here, too dark. All right, I think we got all of those dark edges. So let's zoom out. And let's make a new layer on top of her. And just fade in some white over top of her. That's probably a little too much, but we'll take that down a bit. Just to give the illusion of some depth and atmosphere. 
maybe a race into that. <laughs> and I just realized that I forgot to add in the back of her cape. Her entire cape here, I have to add in. Like, see? Uh, for some reason, I didn't think of it. But we'll do that next time. And until then, take care.